this series, Omniscient Reader, needs an anime badly. I've been really just heavily thinking about this for a long time now. The more I go through these chapters, the more I read this series on a weekly basis, the more I'm just like, this series would do so well if it had a good anime, a good animation team, a good studio staff, care and attention to detail. It really could be something that would just blow everyone away. It could be an absolute banger of a series because of just what the story is necessarily about. And I know a lot of you that watch me has obviously probably either watched my videos on Omniscient Reader of me talking about it in the past, you know, covering just how I feel about it to the story beats and all that. You know, I've talked about it in many different videos, but there's obviously some that this might be the first time you ever hear about this series. And I will say that it, there is a series that has done the power fantasy type element really well. I will definitely say Omniscient Reader has done a very good job with it. Because the very plot of it, at first glance, it seems kind of similar to a lot of things. But when it really starts to kind of dive into its story and really showcase what it has to offer with its many chapters, obviously over 100 chapters at this point, it really just shows like, how unique it is and how it stands out. Hell, from what I heard that, you know, the novel, there's a novel based on this, and it's very, very popular. But okay, I'm, uh, I'm putting the uh, cart before the horse. Let's, um, let's talk about Omniscient Reader and kind of, like, why I think it actually should be an anime, because I, I, obviously I'm seeing it its praises and stuff, but we need to take a look at its, like, you know, synopsis, kind of like, you know, what it's about and all that, and just, like, why I think it would do so well with its world, its setting, and all that. So, Kim, you know, he's our main Mel character, and what makes it very interesting is, it's like the story starts off with him, you know, he, he's basically reading, like here, I'm going to zoom up to the top here, like he's reading a series called Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse, and the whole point of it was is that he's just been reading the series on a weekly basis, and as the story finally came to an end, and this is literally the first chapter... He was the last one reading it. He was the only one that actually read, you know, the series up to this point. And obviously, when you come to a conclusion of a story, it can leave a feeling of sadness within you. Because I know when I read, let's say, a good book, or I read a good webtoon or anything, a good manga, watch a good anime or TV show, I always feel that emptiness inside when I come to its conclusion. Because it's like, man... That's really it. And you really get that feeling, no matter if it's a good or a bad ending, you get that feeling, it's like, it's over. There's no more. There's not going to be any more content. It's done. And so, in this moment, it, this beginning sequence is trying to relate to the reader of just the emotion of something coming to an end, even though this is the beginning of a story. And as, you know, he's swiping through, realizing it's over, and realizing that's it, you know, the world actually comes to life. For instance, everything within you know, Omniscient Reader comes to life, and, like, the very entities within this world that was in that, you know, series he was reading becomes his very reality. And it's not that he was, let's say, transported to another world. No, that's not what happened. He wasn't transported. He wasn't reincarnated. No. What actually happened was, as soon as he finished reading it, and he was sent an email by the author himself, like, here's the, the full series if you want to read it and all that, you know, he was on a train, and then... The first beginning of the series, chapter one, pretty much, of the story, became his very reality. And he is like, what's going on? And that is kind of the journey of Omniscient Reader. Following this story that technically the MC is already aware of, and keeping us in the dark with the mysteries, but also changing things to where it's not actually following the same path anymore. And so, you have these characters that's within the story of, like, Omniscient Reader that was in that series that MC was reading, Kim was reading, but it turns out that, you know, they are no longer the main characters, because technically the main character is Kim, that was just the world is his reality now. And I don't know, I, I really just like the concept. The very world and the fabric of it is just so cool. I, I, I think there's just so much ways to really explore that with the artwork. Like here, you know, I want to pull up this image again. You know, just like looking at the background sequences of what can be done, you can do some plain backgrounds, but when you think about the fantasy backgrounds and making it into like, you know, just what they can do with it, there is a lot of unique things that is possible with Omniscient Reader in an anime setting, just with the artwork for the background backgrounds, not including the fighting sequences, etc., like, imagine the lightning effects and all that, but, um, anyways, yeah, so getting back on topic, I, I just, the characters, too, are very engaging, and that gets into what I was just mentioning earlier about, like, uh, the power fantasy, because at the end of the day, Omniscient Reader is an action fantasy, power fantasy, supernatural type story, and typically when it comes to these type of stories, like, if we're wanting to really be blunt here, you know, it, 
it, it, it can sometimes only focus on one character. That That's usually sometimes a flaw of that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I mean, sometimes just following a good story with a good character and all that, that's just really OP, is really fun. But at sometimes, you wish that some of these interesting characters on the side would get more focus. They would get more development, so to speak. And Omnis Reader does do that. There is a lot of characters that are introduced throughout this story that get introduced and stick with the MC throughout the entire journey, and actually gets development, has some weight within the story, it's not just a one-man show, it's not just one character like him going around and, you know, winning every fight, etc., he has to rely on a lot of people to overcome obstacles, etc., different trials and different, you know, missions that's assigned to him, so I really like that, I really love the element that, you know, it's not just a one-man show, even though technically it's supposed to be, you know, a power fantasy. It's a really nice mix-up. Now, getting back into this, though, this series has been going on for since, like, 2020, as I can see here, and it's still ongoing now. I am someone that hasn't necessarily read, like, the, uh, the light novel, because I know this series is, you know, based on a light novel. That's what I've been told, that it's a falling light novel series that's been concluded for a very long time, and for what I've been told from people that have read this series weekly for a long time, even longer than I have have told me that Omniscient Reader is closely following the light novel, and in some cases even doing a better job than the light novel, which is honestly pretty astounding to hear. I, I love hearing that type of stuff. It does go to show the love and passion that's put into the artwork, etc. of the story, really trying to make it stand out, and I, I just love the way the art is. Like, it, I, once again, that's why this would really benefit from an anime, just seeing these different character designs and outfits and movement. Oh my goodness, it would be just incredible to see. But, uh, yeah, uh, compliments as well, by the way. Like, I want to point this out. Compliments to the, um, the author and the artist that's working on this Sleepy Sea and Sing in Song. I really do like their work. They are really doing a good job with just what they're working on. And World After the Fall as well. I've read this work as well and even actually made a video on it. Apparently, you know, they're, they're doing the story as well for World After the Fall. So, that's, uh, interesting. I need to catch back up to that series. But, uh, get, once again, back on topic. I really think that um, there is just so much potential here for, like, webtoons to really dive in to the anime space if given a chance in a good studio. Like, there's so many stories on this platform. Like, if I just click their main page and I just look at the stories here, they have so many unique stories. So many things that, honestly, you don't even see in manga or anime. And imagine if a lot of these series came to life and actually was brought to the surface. It would create, honestly, just a whole new space of fans from many different stories there's so much potential here and i mean because of how webtoons have different like unique art styles as well because they always have something unique or different looking oh, look at this you can see the different styles here some may be inspired by anime or other things but they're very distinct and they don't look the same and you know you can see a lot of similarities let's say in manga where they usually kind of look the same but i feel like there's just so much variety here when you just take a look at this catalog but, uh, yeah, anyways, if you're interested in reading Omniscient Reader, I highly recommend it. Because I obviously, I don't know if it's ever going to get an anime. I don't know. I just, I wish it would. I really want the series to get one. But uh, even if it doesn't, this series is still worth reading. I highly recommend anyone that is interested in reading, like, a fantasy, power fantasy story that honestly just, like, really gets you immersed you should read this. It's good. Um, I'll have a link to this in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. I highly urge you to check it out. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. Stay healthy, everyone. I love you guys. Chibi out.